Last week, NY snapped Tremble's 28 game regular season win streak with the Tomcats vulnerable. Tonight may have been the perfect storm for Belpy to beat Tremble for the first time in over two decades. <laughs> You know, we're looking at a game tonight that could possibly decide the conference, Justin. Both teams stack up with major offensive weapons, with both teams sitting at 0-1. The real question tonight, who wanted to make a statement more? Belpre eager to knock off Trimble, the energy, the feistiness before the game. It had everyone going. But Trimble, they are quick as always, and they're going to jump on the wagon first. A pass interference gives the Tomcats beautiful field position. Jacob Hardy gains some yardage there. Two plays later, Belpre say hello to Bryce Guthrie. 28-yard touchdown reception. Trimble on the board first, 6-0. Belpre's turn now, Dejon Bedgood, one of the quickest kids you'll see in the Hawking. Six-yard gain, no momentum there, because here come the Cats. Shay Cowan sneaking around and says, good night. And the boys in white, they're going to go to work. Justice Jenkins finds the seam, leaves some golden eagles in the dust. 35-yard run, and friends, he is just getting started. Jenkins 101 yards tonight, and his buddy Jacob Hardy, he's making some noise as well. 50-yard touchdown run, he takes the lead to 12. But hey, Hardy isn't the only one who can run. Insert bed good. 42-yard carry for the speedster, and why not throw another one in there? Not only can the kid run, but hey, the kid has some hops. Belpre in position too, but hold the phone. Who, we, who is it? None the other, JJ. No chance for Bedgood there. Trimble takes over on the 41-yard line. T Jenkins with the pigskin, throws in a quick spin move there. Tomcats moving the chains on the 15. Losey looks, but instead, Bedgood, the boss, is back. He comes down with the interception, loses his grip, but recovers. About a minute left in the half, and boy, do the Cats take advantage. 30-yard reception for Jink, for, excuse me, Hardy, two yards to go, and Cameron Curry seals the deal. 20-0, Trimble at half, 109 total yards for Jenkins, 2014 in the air for Losey. A collective, a collective win, one that Trimble desperately needed. 34-0 is your final. And Trimble's win streak came to an end last week, but these Tomcats really fixed some things this week, Kelsey. You know, from the first drive, it was obvious a different Trimble team than we saw last week. They were cleaner, more confident, and more importantly, Justin, they executed when they needed to. When I spoke to Coach Ferris earlier this week, his biggest takeaway from the NY game was the missed opportunities. Trimble didn't cap off drives when they needed to, but tonight, it was a completely different story. The, Tom the Tomcats capitalized, and boy, did it show. And it seems like it was the opposite for Belpre tonight. You know, Belpre struggled all night moving the ball. They have the tools, Justin. That's not the problem. It's the execution. They cannot keep missing those crucial opportunities and expect to be competitive in the Hawking. Tavion Miller had negative nine yards, Justin, negative nine. You need more from the veteran quarterback. It starts with the fundamentals, and right now, Justin, they're just not there. And Trimble had a big offensive night. What stood out to you, Kelsey? You know, Jenkins was outstanding. I mean, you can't really expect anything but that. He was way more refreshed than last week, and look at that GGPOY candidate that we're used to seeing. I have to credit the line with his success tonight as well. He was able to find those holes tonight that weren't made for him a week ago. It's the oldest rule in the book. You want to be successful? Your playmaker needs to be successful. And I was expecting a lot closer of a game, but they shut him out. How was Tremble's defense tonight? Because we talked about their offense. Yeah, we did. And I spoke a lot, quite frequently, with Coach Ferris, as I may say. And he's got a lot of good things to tell me, and he's always more than generous. But one thing that he really mentioned was he's got to get these younger guys involved. It's no secret these younger kids do not have the experience that we're used to seeing in the past, you know, Micah Couches, Austin Downs. 
give them some time. These kids are really going to prove a lot of people wrong, and I'm excited to see as we go along the rest of the season how they develop and where we're going to go from there. Because right I, now it totally shines tonight. Well, excuse me, but I know when you came back, I told you that Waterford – they beat Wahama and they beat them soundly. How surprised were you to hear that? Because this could set up Treble's third straight conference title. I mean, I think I asked you twice. I, I could not believe it, especially being at that Waterford-Miller game last week. It's the greatest thing about the hawking. It is so unexpected in this league, and that's why you have to love high school football from here on. It's really going to be interesting to see the way things go at the beginning of the season. I'd say we had Waterford down at the bottom. Now, we don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? You're right. That's the beauty of the TVC Hawking. Thanks a lot, Kelsey.